Hello, I'm Brad Pritchard, coming to you from Shanghai, China, with a little Super Mega Baseball 3 featuring the Sirloins franchise. I've got a cat on my lap, hopefully he'll stay here, he kind of doesn't like it when I start talking, but uh, he looks pretty tuckered out. There's another cat right over here, so this is a nice Saturday afternoon for me. Uh, the Sirloins did lose their winning streak, unfortunately, but uh, we're ready to start a new one. He's sitting here at 12 of 4, still looking real good. We'll be playing the Platypi next, their uh, contact special, got a pretty bad record, but they are one of the more balanced teams around that... No power, but everything else is pretty good. I think we got our fourth starter coming to play. Nothing good happening in the summary here. Ooh, wow, that's a big step up there, isn't it? They signed uh, what a new starting pitcher. It's a B-plus overall. That's pretty good. I'm feeling kind of bad that these other teams are all adding all these really good players, and I'm just sitting here doing nothing. But my team certainly has some weaknesses. I'm not really... I'm not upset about any of my batters. I'd kind of like to. I'd I'd like to replace uh, my shortstop Willard Wiggins. Not because he's bad so much, but more because he's old. Um, so we could take this 28 year old at 8.6 million. Um, very well rounded, which is not really my thing. Um, and there's this guy who's pretty good as well, Wingspan Haynes, uh, and also this guy who's terrible. So we wouldn't be taking him. But let's take a look at what our salary is for Willard Wiggins. He's in here at $5.2 million. That'll eat up slightly more than the $4.3 million I think I got. So I don't think I can do that. Um, I'm not going to go for something that's not a clear upgrade. We'll just stick with old man baseball Willard Wiggins. Let's get right into the game. Um, Cat's not feeling so great, which means I think it might be time for Mick Steele to jump in here. Um, so let's do that. And we'll mix deals, not the leadoff hitter, so let's uh, move him way down in the batting order. And we'll move Hayata right up to the top. Okay, so we got uh, we got Neomo pitching, K.O. Neomo. She's doing pretty well this season, so I'm pretty confident there. Um, we'll see who they've got going for them. I've been hitting very poorly, <laughs> which is why I lost the last game. So we'll see if we can uh, show some improvement here in this game. All right, we are at home. Not the pitching start I was looking for there. That was something a little better. She is a tough out. None of my characters have that attribute. Characters? That's kind of a weird way to phrase it. Let's say players. A bunt? She must really... Wow. Why would why would you do that? I love it, but why would you do that? So Beefcake McStevens is like one of the better hitters in the league, but he is already rattled. He's in a bit of a slump. Will that matter vis-a-vis -vis me? I doubt it. But he's not really swinging at anything, which I appreciate. No. Swung at that one. Blech. But he'll stay rattled with that one, so that's good to see. Two quick outs for Neomo. I have no idea what's up with her name. Um, if I figure anything out, I'll surely let you know. Give him the high change. That held that just a little too long, but it didn't matter in the long run. Okay, my pitching's a little bit off right now. We'll figure it out. All right, they are not looking like much of a threat on offense. They just kind of let me do whatever I wanted in that inning. Well, let's see what our batters can do. Here's Monica. Okay, their pitcher stinks. <clears throat> it's a long drive. It's a big stadium, though. And it will drop into that corner there. Monica is like, I thought, well, hey, I stopped short of second. I wanted her to stop at second. Anyway. Fortunately, I was paying at least some amount of attention. Here's Lloyd Cook. Oh, I think that one's out of here. Lloyd Cook just waited on that one and mashed it out of the stadium. Yeah, not out of the stadium, but at least over the fence. Two-run donger, Lloyd Cook, and the Sirloins take an early lead here in the friendly confines of Apple Field. Eighth of the season. That's pretty good. And here's the hammer. Oh, it just meekly pops out. Let's see if the pitcher goes back to neutral. I hope not. 
Not yet. Wow, that's the best I could do with that pitch. Bummer. All right, and here's Mick Steele, starting in the place of the unhappy Cat Stanza. All right, I managed not to swing at something. Wow, wish I'd done that twice in a row. That was a close one. That was uh, not ideal. Right, dum dum. All right, but two runs on the board for the sirloins. A nice start. And here's Muffin Studwick. Hmm. Uh, I think that's gone. Wasn't a great pitch, admittedly. But the Muffin Studwick, we got to do that. So far, I've been struggling to hit my marks, so I blame this cat. Lovable though he is. All right. Lloyd Cook waves off the other fielders and makes the catch. One down. Gets him with the change. As usual, they're grinding me into dust with uh, foul balls. But gets him with the change. Strike three. After that home run, it's like uh, K.O. Niomo's settled in nicely. Didn't let that get her down. Hmm. McSteel uh, presses the wrong button, which is an action that a human being can do. Should have used the catcher anyway. Will this one get to the backstop? No, it will not, and that'll be the inning. Platypie, put one on the board, get within one of the star lines. Let's see if we can do some hitting. Pitcher is back up to neutral. It's hit well, but I don't... Well, it was, eh, we'll be caught, won't it? God damn. That smarts. I'm up right at him. Two outs in quick succession. Here's Willard Wiggins, the man I thought about trying to get rid of, but he's just too cheap. Which is why my girlfriend keeps me around. I don't cost her much. And wow, what a shabby inning from the Sirloins. Thought something good was happening in that first at bat, and then it was rapidly downhill. You sure about that? Because of the way that the computer bats versus the way I bat, it seems like I'm pitching about 90% of the time in this game. All right, nice catch there. Here's Tugboat Thomas. He's named for uh, former WWF star Tugboat. Hmm. And just throwing him right down the middle. <laughs> Gets it to the full count. And all that hard work paid off. Hammer long ballo. Makes the run into shallow right and makes the catch. If we can get KO locked in, that would mean a lot to me. Oh, I bet that uh, Cat would have made that play. But Mick Steele, the butter ball that he is, just couldn't quite get it done. That yeah, was low, but he could have taken a little cut at it anyway. I swing at plenty of their bad pitches. Why don't they reciprocate? And that should be the inning. Is Damian Rush wanders over, looks around confused, turns around a bit, and makes the catch. And Damian Rush will be first up here in the third. See if we can do a little more than we did in the pathetic second inning. Got a little heat on that one. Uh, it's deep in the gap, but he's not going to be able to run that one out. And the hitting woes continue for the sirloins. 
Sorry, Madoka. All right, here's Lloyd Cook. He had a donger in his first at bat. Yeah, I thought it might be a little high, but... And he just pops out this time. So another terrible inning. And I just got to pitch again. Ugh. This kitty's really sacked out. Soothe me. I cannot hit. Generous officiating there. <laughs> Wiggins gets over there and makes the catch. Uh, that looked a little dicey, but I assure you that it was all under control. Hammer long ball thinks he sees something at first. There's nothing to be seen, however. Just not string together quite enough outs to uh, get my pitcher's mojo in a little better place. Could have swung at that. Would have been fine. Not going to be able to make the catch on that one. Runners on first and second, and a mere one out. Platypie threatening a bit here. Platoon forgot how to catch, but it's no big deal. Come on! Wow. Lousy defensive plays abounding in our pathetic infield. Our team defense is... Oh, shit. Fuck me. Wasn't even a bad pitch. Ugh, grand slam. First home run of the season. Fourth RBI. So those are all of his home runs and RBIs right there. What a bunch of bullshit. Jesus. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand pitching, I guess. Really? It couldn't pick that up? Just clownish play by our fielders. And Na Naomi's not Neomo, excuse me, is not not feeling too great now. Jesus Christ, that's another home run, I think. Yep. First home run of the season. Yeah, this is all this is all going very well. Now she's rattled, so her stats are just pure trash. I don't know what I did to deserve this, seriously. Will you just do something instead of hitting fucking foul balls? Ooh, that's a wild throw. I wish there was a setting for number of foul balls and set it to minimum. <laughs> Just the way we drew that one up. I mean, does every bat just have to be a goddamn slog? Oh, he was not first. <laughs> All right, gets through that awful inning. Six big runs for the Platypies. Our pitching just is not working out. Here's Hammer Long Ball, though. A suspicious-looking swing there. Uh, drop faster? Nope, not dropping fast enough. <laughs> God damn, I just can't hit. Things are just going swimmingly for the platypi as the sirloins are struggling here at home. <sighs> Plop. All right, let's that bad looking pitch go. Two and two count. And he rope lined the left field to end the hitting drought. Unfortunately, we do have two outs, so still got quite a bit of work to do.
Yeah, that was fun. All right. KO needs to get three quick outs. And, of course, they just drilled the ball in, right into the gap. It's amazing. I'll probably get it right back to rattled. Can't make the catch. That's nice. Jesus. Almost throws her out anyway, but can't get the job done. Should have thrown to first, maybe. <laughs> Did not do so. Can he get there? No. Really? Really? God. What a disaster. All right. A nice little play there by Boomer Platoon. Just decapitated a fan over there. And she does it again. Just a wonderful job there. God damn. Twice in one inning. That is fun for me. And we should be able to escape the inning. Oh, hey. <laughs> Didn't mean to tag him there, but it did work in the end. Another run on the board, and sirloins need to get hitting real fast. It's not going to do it. Drop it. My idiots drop it all the time. Nice base hit to the right-hand side there. See if we can get something started. Just chip away at this massive platypi lead. Really? Jeez. Why did I do that? Oh, does get through the gap. Runners will be on first and second with one out. Thought the second baseman had a shot at it, but couldn't make the play. Hey, I didn't swing at something. It's a good-looking hit. It might be out, but nope. It's warning track power, of course, because it's our team. Jesus Christ. A little too much under it. Come on, Lloyd. We need some more help here. Well, got a base hit. Uh, we're going to send this runner home because we got two outs and we need all the runs we can get. And he will make it. 8-3 Platypie lead. Come on, Hammer. Ugh. All right, I got one run, but could have been so much more. Looks like uh, it's probably just taking Neomo out of here. It's only the sixth inning, but so be it. Looks like Shady is in good shape to pitch. Terrible outing for poor Neomo. You hate to see it. Up, oh, every single hit is right in the gap. This is amazing. Double to lead off the inning. More bad news for the sirloins. Yep, we're going to let him advance to third. Don't see much of another option. Probably shouldn't be making extra throws. There's a chance I'll completely botch one and it will be problematic. It right, looks like it might arc foul. Hammer long ball refuses to dive. Yeah, it's a centimeter outside. Wouldn't want to swing at that. What a play by Mick. All right, that's just what the doctor ordered there is the pop-up. I'm not sure who's going to catch this because I'm very confused by how tall it is. That thing got up there. 
All right, two down. Runner on third. Let's see if we can get Sky Rodriguez out. Once again, continuing the trend of only women wearing the cage around their helmet, which I think is sexist. Come on. All right, as long as we can handle this, it's a nice looking throw. And we escaped the inning with no damage done. But the sirloins are running out of time. Oh, wish I hadn't done that. And that. I don't think he's going to be able to run that out. All right, swing at fewer bad pitches. That's uh, what I got to do. Here's Mick. All right, loops that one over the pitchers. Wow, what a catch. Not going to get the out, but it was nice. Uh, that's looking like it's got double play written all over it. He's so slow. Yow. See if we can get another solid inning out of Shady. Good looking pitch there. Ooh, that was a generous call. Right to Lloyd Cook. Scoops it up and makes the throw. A little bit of dangerous pitch there. Right to Mick Steele. He'll just trot right over to the base. Two down. Let's put it right in that same location. Didn't exactly do that, but the uh, results are good. One, two, three inning. Haven't seen a lot of those these game. This game, excuse me. And here's the bottom of the order coming up. Oh, they want to bring in some fielding. All right, whatever. Defensive substitutions are not really part of this. Jeez, I'm just not sure this one with that. Not part of the sirloin DNA. Hey, at least I didn't swing at that one. That was a fine pitch that I did move the bat down just a little bit, which I paid the awful price for. Your Damien Rush. It's getting a little late to start anything here. I mean, it's a nice jack, but it doesn't look like it's a donger, so that's just going to be another out. Great. Three up, three down for the Sirloins. Looking increasingly hopeless. All right, Tugboat, what you got? Hammer long ball low, steady in the right field position, makes the catch. Looks like Shady's got the sniffles. She's a tough out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Makes the catch and tosses it to first. Two down. Nice play there by Mick Steele. Usually my guys just kind of deflect them off their gloves rather than catching them, but oh, come on. Fuck on. Jesus. Throw nothing but good pitches. Look at that's his first home run of the season. And this is this is going just fantastic. I, I don't know what to do. Just throw nothing but good pitches and just home run after home run. <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. I think I'm getting a little frustrated. Hmm, not a good throw there. Doesn't matter though in the long run. All right, looks like Lloyd Cook will be able to get that one, but it's one more run for the Platypie as the beating continues. <laughs> what the fuck? That was right down the middle. Pitcher's mojo finally went up. I thought I was going to do so a long time ago. Yep. Looked a little high, but what can you do? Yep, shouldn't swing at that garbage. And another quick two outs. This game is just pissing me off at this point. Here's Hammer Long Ballo. Ah, way early on that one. You dip like a motherfucker. This game can't end fast enough. I have to turn my mental state around for the second game of this doubleheader. Thought she was going to hit a home run there. 
Because why not? <laughs> God, you suck, mixed steel. You're the worst, dude. I wonder if I could find a different backup first baseman. I don't enjoy fielding with him. He's just so ridiculously bad. And what, that's the third time he's been unable to make a catch this game? I'm up too fast. God damn it. Should have gone to first. Hmm. I'm going to botch that one. <sighs> Alright, thank you for swinging. <laughs> Just a, a wonderful pitch. It doesn't make one fucking bit of difference. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, time to take Shady out. I'll waste another pitcher. Duke's a little tired. It's like... And nothing going right. I feel like you could just throw every pitch perfect and it wouldn't make one fucking bit of difference. was not exactly thrown perfectly. You can use the right stick to dive. Hmm, interesting. Holding on a little bit long there. All right, gets a strikeout, two down. Jeez, fuck this game, seriously. Let's run everybody out there. Who cares? And I wasn't even hit that hard. I can't believe you couldn't just, you know, fucking catch it. Ugh. Bottom of the ninth. Sirloin's down by seven. Just in just a fucking beating. <sighs> I'm not having fun right now. Yeah, at least I'll get to first. And why didn't that take his face off like it did my guy? Two runners on, one out here in the bottom of the ninth. This guy's pretty slow, so we're going to leave the bases loaded, I suppose. Ugh, fuck, of course, it's a pop-out. <clears throat> Maybe my all-power swing philosophy is uh, biting me in the ass just a little bit. But uh, I think we need we need a Grand Slam to get back in this. That doesn't look like it's got enough stank on it, and that's the game. Terrible, terrible game for the Sirloins. Filling me with dread and self-loathing. Ugh, that's two straight L's for the league leaders. Just everything went wrong. Sheesh. Never seen so much bad pitching and fielding. <laughs> Lloyd Cook, somehow he's one of the players of the game. I don't know if even possible. Oh, internet not working quite right. I'm VPN and it's not going particularly well. Momotobo shoulder hurt. Yeah, does everybody have problems all the time? Nothing good ever should happen to this team. I want a better third baseman, too. What do we got? Fucking had it with these clowns. 
RBI dud that doesn't sound like, wow 9.4 million got a lot of contact yeah there's no third baseman out there that we didn't want to consider so we're stuck with the scrubs we got let's simulate some games We are playing the hot corners. They're a nice hitting team. They have good pitchers, too. If you're going to be bad at something, speed and defense are the things to be bad at. You know, I think my team showed that maybe being super bad at defense. We're not that bad. We're mediocre at defense. We looked really bad last game. That being said, we did have our second string. Uh, okay, you're tired, so get on, it. get on out of here. Momotobo, your arm's broken, but whatever. You can put Cat Stanza back in. So let's do this. They, I don't like the way this game uh, <clears throat> saves your lineup. I think it's annoying and bad. I don't know about this. Do I want... Who do I want in here? I mean, we can rock with this. I've, yeah, he's too awful. But we're going to take Long Ballo out for one game. Let him get a little bit of rest. And put in Cortez. All right, let's see what we can do here. I can't believe I'm like 15 games or something into this, or 17 games into the season. I haven't had a player get to on fire once. Maybe we'll do it this game. I doubt it. All right, here's Jeb Jumps. Who we got pitching anyway? Slip. Oh. He's still a little bit injured, but what are you going to do? We got to pitch somebody, right? All right, Filet Jones is trying to run in to get this one. It's plenty high, so it looks like he'll make it. One out. Going to have to try to get my head in a good place because <laughs> I've been pretty annoyed out of that last game. So Let's focus up, play good, throw these fork balls that always get me in trouble. Just time after fucking time. Wasn't even mixed steel that time. That's going right to Lloyd Cook. Not going to get the double play, but good try. Excuse me. This guy is feeling good and looking right. I don't like that much. feel pretty good about myself if I could strike this guy out. Which means I'm not going to throw the fork ball. Oh, almost had it. All right, we got him. I think. That's way up high. Could have lost it in the lights, but hey, he's back to neutral. Good job, Skip. All right, up to bat. It's Cat Stanza. Their pitcher is pretty good. That's concerning. That's the best we can do? Run, Cat! No. Out by a step. Oh no, it rolled back fair. Jeez. If I thought this pitcher gets some momentum, I am in a world of trouble. There's a nice base hit from Lloyd Cook. We'll see if Filet Jones can t make some noise here. Oh, come on. Alright, he dropped it at least. We'll just hold here at second. I mean, when I hit it hard, it just goes right at them, which is a problem. Ooh, base it up the middle. We're sending this runner home. Not super fast, but they're not going to try to stop him, so the sirloins take the early lead, which is nice. All right, not going for that. Ugh, wish I hadn't swung at that, but that's okay. Fouled it away. Oh, right on the inside corner, apparently. Two and two. Hit that pretty well. I think that's out of here. 
Not by a lot, but it's good enough. That's a three-run donger in the sirloins. Getting going again, second home run of the season for Mick Steele. Ten RBIs, looking good. I meant to look at the league leaders, but I just wanted to get back in it after that last terrible game. Right at him. As I said, right at him. But four runs, nothing to complain about there. See how much we can get out of Skip Vanderwink, who's a little injured still. Which is a concern. Gets away with a fork ball, which is always nice. All right, Lloyd. Ah, you can't get to that. No chance. All right, leadoff base hit. Not what we needed to see. And his mojo goes straight back down. Man. Nice catch. Jesus Christ. Team is actively trying to stop me from winning, which is fun. Hey, he gets away with a fork ball, though. Okay, that was a rocket. Mm. Alright, got a strikeout. He likes him outside. We'll give him something he likes, then. See, see what you can do with this fastball, buddy. Nothing, that's what I thought. Oh, what a catch! Monica makes up for her earlier mistake with a diving grab in foul territory. Hmm, not a great pitch there. There's more of that. And they're going to score because it takes her forever to get over there. She's not even remotely running. Just jogs over after her unnecessary error. Unbelievable. And suddenly they've got two runs. That one goes right over her outstretched mitt. And this is not going well. I, and all my, all my relievers are tired, so that's going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Nope, oh, drifting fair. And a rough second inning there for the sirloins. Let's see if our batters can uh, do some damage to make up for it. Hit that awfully well, but it's very deep out there. Looks like enough. Solo donger for Damian Rush, taking us back to those early season feelings. And here's beefy boy Momotobo. Really? Let's pop that one up, huh? All right, one down. Here's the leadoff hitter, Cat Stanza. And that's no good. Shouldn't do that. All right, see what Javier Cortez can do. It's been a while since he's gotten in a game. And he gets a base knock. Nice looking swing there. inside. Great eye. A little inside. A little outside and high. This one's going to be right over the plate. Oh. <laughs> that one was right over the plate, but I botched it. Drop it? My people drop things. Alright, adds one more run. And let's see if, uh, if Slip Vanderwink can Get through this e inning without... <laughs> goes right off Momotobo's glove. All right, we're going to strike him out with this fork. No, we're not. That's a terrible pitch. Let's see if Hayata can, can make the catch. Of course, that guy is slow as hell. Man, my first and third basemen are just awful. They can't, they can't catch anything. It's remarkable. I've never seen professional... Oh, fuck. Professional baseball players who just can't catch anything anything yeah. not looking good for skip here as his return from injury has not gone as well as he had hoped he's dropped it again <laughs> why can't you catch yep another hit man 
If anybody's got any advice on how to pitch better, I'll take it. And probably the key is just to have better pitchers, but I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm making that big of mistakes, but I feel like I'm getting shellacked. Ugh. All right. Cortez is settling under this one. He's a big fan of hitting the cutoff, man, so we'll do that. Two down. Really turned on that one. Hey, gets away with the fourth ball. We'll take it. And gets the strike three to end the inning, but another home run was given. As this game remains a tight one. 5 3 Sirlines. How is that so bad? Ugh. All right, base it up the middle for Madoka. Mojo up. That's nice to see. I haven't mostly been seeing things go in the opposite direction. Here's Mick Steele. Uh, I think he's got another home run there, but I don't know. It's a very deep part of the park, but it doesn't matter. Mick Steele, two dongers on the game, putting the sirloins on his back. He can't really run that out. <laughs> His old legs don't support that kind of play. And here's Damian Rush. Ugh, and he pops out in the inning. But two more runs for the Sirloins. Yeah, it just need a li little bit choosier on which pitches I swing at. But it's hard, okay? Gets him with the fork ball. He's up. Missed that one by a bit. But if you're going to miss a pitch, it's better to throw a ball than to give something they can hit easily. <clears throat> Excuse me. Madoka, can she pick up a baseball? She proves that she can. One down. He saw that one coming somehow, but he couldn't take advantage. In real baseball, do people foul it off 90% of the time? I don't know. In this game, they do. Momotobo looking to make a difference, and he does. Two down. Let's see if we can stop Jeb Jumps here. Oh, he wasn't ready for that slider. Can Filet make the run? I'm saying no. Shit. Should have pressed a button of some sort. Lloyd Cook gobbles it up in a 1-2-3 inning. Uh, that's kind of the upset of the century here. And let's see what the Turloin Bats can do here in the bottom of the fourth. The beloved Momotobo. Not going. What? All right. Looks like that'll fall in for. Ooh, barely. There's some discipline, not chasing those high pitches. And looks like that one's going, but it's not really in the gap so much because he didn't really hit it hard enough. But Momotobo will take third. Oh, shit. Why is he still running? Uh-oh. Can he make it back? Yes. Uh, must have been hitting some buttons. And that's a base hit. Momotobo will come home. Nice looking couple of bats there for Javier. And the Sterloins are continuing to put the pressure on offensively. Here's Lloyd Cook. Ah, uh, went fishing a little bit on that swing. Run into each other. I wish they did have an animation for fielders running into each other. I don't believe that's a thing that exists. But it would be cool if it did. Really? Huh. Swinging less. Oh, 
Man, he's really going for that corner, isn't he? And a base hit there. Can we send her? We're sending her. It's a little suspicious, but I think we'll make it. Oh, yeah. That, that guy doesn't appear to have any kind of arm. I didn't know that going in, but... Sirloin's looking to hit double digits for the first time in a long time. Catch is made. And she is out. Runners on second, third. Two outs for Mick Steele, who, who's come to play today. Noah Kaiser's got to be a little bit afraid here. Ugh, go foul. It will make it to the stands, I believe. Shouldn't have swung at that. Ah, oh, damn it. But another more, another couple of runs for the Sirloins. They've scored in every inning so far. Ooh. All right, got away with it. Hmm. Wow. Okay, this batter is really being cooperative, which I appreciate. Are you sure about that? All right. Catches it with her face as usual. You hate to see that kind of ineptitude time and again. Mm. Holding all my pitches a little too long suddenly. There we go. He blasts it, but Damian Rush is there to make the catch. Whew. Fortunately, he's got some wheels on him. All right, here's... Bo Belter, who does have a home run, kind of living up to his name there. Ooh, that was not a good pitch. But it looks like it's going to be harmless in this case. Damian Rush doing that thing where he spins in circles to show off to this, his adoring fans. All right, we got the pitcher back to neutral. we got to get this out to keep him there. And so far, he's struggled with Stan Elv. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name, buddy. And he can't get him out once again. Great. Now we'll put his mojo right back to tense. I'm sure. God, I hate that. Oh, man. Yeah, I suppose it was. Damn. Did it again. Just held that pitch a little bit too long. Wouldn't go for that one, huh? Full count. Can we get out of this one? Runners take off. Wiggins with the catch and the throw. Whew. Scoreless inning there. Here's Wiggins. No hit so far. Hmm. It's one of those pitches I shouldn't be swinging at. Oh my god, I'm back to the way I was before. Okay, drives that one right by him. He's hustling for second. Can he make it? Yeah, he can. <laughs> Didn't need to reach for that one, I don't think. All right, wasn't sure if they are going to catch that one or not, but the runner does make it to 30. Not much of a chance of making it home if I was booking it because he's slow as hell. Here's Cat Stanza. Oh, wait, no. Momotobo first. Forgot that Damien Rush wasn't hitting ninth. Yeah, I knew it was a strike, but I didn't want it. Trying to work the count a little bit more. Give myself a better chance to get easy to hit pitches. Or just walk. Don't see that from me very often, but Momotobo will take his base. And here's Cat Stanza. Pitcher is now rattled again. All right, that's I should have swung at that one. Sorry. Uh, it's hit well, but I don't think it's hit well enough. Uh, runner, well, I don't know. It's going to be close. Runner will head home, though, so a nice sacrifice fly there by Cat Stanza. <laughs> a 
I really wanted to swing at that so bad. Oh, no, I swung at that stupid pitch. The infield fly rule is invoked. Bummer. Oh, someone wants my attention. Presumably my girlfriend. Give me just a moment here. Send something nice. There we go. Sorry about that. Here's Lloyd Cook, though. He's a heavy hitter. He's got that mustache that the ladies love and certain men. They're really pitching around him. Got all of it, but I don't know if it well, looks like it will stay fair. There it goes. Three-run donger for Lloyd Cook, and the hit parade just continues here for the Sirloins. Busting out after a couple of struggling games. Ninth of the season, 23 RBIs, and suddenly it's a 10-run lead. <clears throat> this pitcher should be worse than Rattle at this point, in my opinion. He's given up 13 runs, which seems like a lot for one baseball game. And Filet Jones is not letting up for a moment. Drives that one into the left center. But they're not even considering taking... Whoops, I accidentally ran. I did not mean to do that. I guess that'll be the inning. They'll never catch me! Okay, they'll catch me. <laughs> Thought maybe I could make it back. Oops, my bad. So, Slips only probably got one more inning in him, which is this thing that happens. But if we just get three pitches and three outs, he might be able to make it to another. But, of course, they hit it to my first or third baseman. It's basically like hitting a single to the outfield, because that's how good they are at fielding. But maybe she can handle that one. It's not hit very hard. Way to go, Madoka. And, okay, if we have a three-pitch inning, I can definitely get another inning out of my pitcher. Oh, but you want to just ground out like I wanted you to. Uh, and there's a home run, of course, so. Got all excited for no reason. And there's L. Staddle Cleefel. Motherfucker. And he's right back to tense. That's all it takes. His mental state is extremely fragile. And it's hit to Monica, and she makes two plays in one inning, so that's a kind of a silver lining there. And this is still a nine-run sirloin lead heading into the bottom of the sixth. Here's Miss Single. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was a wild swing. Not chasing that. But God, why won't they take out their pitcher? I love that they don't, but it just seems extremely misguided. Three and one count. You sure about that? Okay. Had to swing. That was a strike. Oh, Mojo down. Here's Big Steel. Five RBI in the game. Really? I sure it wasn't low war outside. That wasn't, but I uh, couldn't quite get all of it. All right, looks like we're going to have finally have a down offensive inning, which is a thing that happens. I'm just, oh, new pitcher. He's okay, but he's already tense, which is good. Whew, that was close. And that was terrible. So one, two, three inning. The sirloins go down in order. Willard William tried to run that one out, which I appreciate, but didn't happen. And, all right, the problem I have is all my relievers, I believe, are fairly tired. Shady looks okay, really. Um, well, actually, uh, the Duke's fine. We'll bring in the Duke. The Duke was named for the original Xbox controller. His parents were big fans of it. What a catch by the Duke! He used those extra big hands to haul that one in. Oh, not going to get to that one. Base knock. <clears throat> Damian Rush smoothly fields it and gets it to Lloyd Cook. 
Oh, Dick Sport, Dirk Sportswood, it was a video game reference, is leaving the game for this guy with absolutely... Oh, it's a pitch runner. He is fast. Um, how do I throw out again? I don't remember. Almost threw that one into outer space. <laughs> Fine. Got to throw the pitches a little more accurately. Hey, she caught one. The improved runner did not help as the double play is turned and a nice loading for the Duke there. Oh, I thought I had something good going there, but Damien Rush couldn't do it. It's, a little t it's time for the man, the myth, the legend, Momotobo. Momotobo just belted that one to left, and it is gone. Momotobo has done it. Second home run of the season. Gets the lead back to 10. Cat stands, I can't believe it. And neither can I. Really? Sure that wasn't a little bit high? Eh, uh, I don't think that's going to be a hit. Oh, Mojo goes right back up, and somebody's hit a home run off him. This guy is very, uh... Resilient. These pitches are confusing me, though. It's that sidearm delivery. Oof, right over the outstretched glove of the shortstop. I'm kind of getting away from my patient hitting thing that I was trying to do, so let's kind of get back into that. But he throws so many tempting pitches. God damn. All right. One more run there. If we only scored a run in the six, but it's has running every this guy's three for three. Well let's put it into that Duke. Just brushes the corner ever so lightly. It's probably not gonna work out. Made him very itchy in the nether regions. Almost had it. Nice dive. He's a tough out. But that's just the kind of pitch that they never swing at, so <laughs> it's not gonna do it. Strike three, the Duke! Coming in and protecting this lead. Oh, he's got the sniffles. That's been going around on the team lately. Wow, that is well hit. Just can't get out of any inning without giving up something, though. One out, runner on second. Tagger. Oh. She wisely stayed on the base. So it is. Another strikeout, though. The Duke. And the Duke makes another fine catch on the mound. Fires to first, and that's the inning. Still 14-4 to four in the Sirloin's favor. They are trying to send the fans home happy tonight. Uh, Filet just got a lot of that ball. Solo donger. That thing's out of the park by a mile. Making it look easy. One pitch, one swing. Bam. 422 feet to left center. Six home run of the season for Filet Jones. Um, but yeah, that was not it. There we go. Nice base hit to center. As we continue to just demoralize the opposing pitchers. That's down? Is that something the umpire says? Swung at a kind of awkward pitch, but did get the job done. And the runner's advancing to third. I don't think they can stop her. Runner's on first and third. And here's Willard Wiggins with no outs. Runners do get back. Man, even with the infield in, we couldn't get away with that one. That's not going to do it, but uh, we'll be sending the runner home. And they're not even going to challenge. 
as it becomes 16 to 4. What a. And here's Momo Tobo. Remember when he hit that home run? That was amazing. Good eye for Momo. Uh, yeah. Mental error by me swinging at that one down in the dirt. And let's see if the Duke can get through one more inning. We're going to have to put in Franzilla. It's a good start. Wiggins gets over there. Makes the catch. One down. So far, as long as he doesn't give up a run here, this has been one of the, a, a fine outing for the Duke. And he's been, his last outing was pretty good as well. So it's nice to see him come alive because he's technically very bad at baseball. <laughs> so nice to see him thrive. And that was like another out. I mean, he's one of the cheapest players in the league, like at $2 million, which is still a solid chunk of change. Oh, he's on fire. He's the first player of the year to, for me to get on fire. If he can stay on fire, he'll actually be good. Oh, and he can't. <laughs> Damn it. Yep, moved him right back down. All right, this injured player, Stu Burko, trying to come in and make a difference. You know, I feel like this game's more or less over. I feel like we can defend a 12-run lead. I don't know. Has the Duke done it? The Duke has not done it yet. Oh, nice pitch by the Duke. Strike three. What a game from him. Three very solid innings, surrendered no runs as the Sirloins beat the brakes off their opponent. Take that, Hot Corners. I love their their uh, logo, though. It's so good. So <laughs> Noah Kaiser gave up four dongers. R. Stevens, another two. Of course, Vanderwink also gave up two. That's only two of the runs that we surrendered were earned, so that's not bad. Mixed deal with his two dongers, the player of the game. Filet Jones with his four or five performs with two bad in and two runs scored. There's the second star on Lloyd Cook. Uh, those are the batters three, four, and five in the lineup today. So we did that all without Hammer Longballo, who was sitting out with depression. That's probably my new high score, but I hope those get recorded when I, my internet comes back online. Mm. All right, before we head out on at the end of this doubleheader, looks like we made it in just about an hour there. Let's check out the league leaders. Actually, we'll check out this first. Another upgrade, man. Oh. So there's a, an upgrade for Damien Rush, but I don't like it. It's a bad one, and it has a chance of putting a, a bad, uh, what are those things called? I mean, I don't remember. If I... Man, look at that guy, 11.2 million, A-minus player. Mm. All these other teams are getting better while I am not, so that's kind of troubling. Anyway, league leaders. Wow, this Julian Travis uh, somehow batting 500 on the season is pretty good. We got two batters over 400. Home runs, Lloyd Cook and Damian Rush right at the top there, along with Flash Evans, Bertha Banks, and Filet Jones in sixth. Lloyd Cook leading the leagues with 23 RBIs. That's nice. So I'm in the wrong place. Nothing on on-base percentage. We don't get walks. But slugging percentage, we got the two leaders in Damian Rush and Lloyd Cook. Lloyd Cook third in OBS. Lloyd Cook with the most hits in the league, followed by Monica Hayata. And extra base hits is all Monica Hayata. Nearly half of her hits go for extra bases because she gets lots of doubles. Run scored, Lloyd Cook dominating with 24. We don't steal bases. Slip Vanderwing, that he just picked up his third win, which is uh, not bad. Saves, Franzilla, who's absolutely awful, has got five of them. Uh, we're not doing so hot in any of these efficiency categories, though. But we don't walk people. <laughs> we don't walk people, so we're really good at strikeout-to-walk ratio. All right, so that's the video there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the mixed success the sirloins had there. Um, and I'll be back again soon with another... Sirloin's doubleheader. I hope you'll be there. Bye.